I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'm done. I'm done. Done? We're gonna wash our hands of it. We're done. We're yeah, officially done. done. Okay, we're done. We're, in trouble. Aww, we're gonna get. We're gonna get in trouble. So, um, Super Cyan, Arzerg, with the trout color in the bottom left, and we got Reindeer match point in the top right. This could be very interesting because we saw Dirkovic into PVZ. Um, who kind of wait is this game one's match point and game two is circuit right yeah that's yes. right okay so we're in game one here um, also yes yeah uh, we saw some good stuff from Dirk and um, what was his face uh, Dirk and uh, the, the low APM toss fried sun fried <laughs> It's right, Sun, uh, sun Fried. Uh, they had some good, some good games <laughs> oh, back and forth. We got to see the power of Protoss. Yeah, I mean, at 50 APM, like, damn, I'm still impressed. I mean, that was like too fast, too fast, too furious with the storms there. So much. Well, it was more slow, but yeah, yeah too slow, <laughs> but still furious with the storms. That's yeah, right. The lesser known of the the Fast and Furious. Yeah, franchise. that's like. It's like the Chinese bootleg when you bought it. At, you, you bought it on like Seventh like Avenue or some shit. Or it's, something. Yeah. <laughs> However, probe scouting now, pretty normal stuff. Um, pool first, pretty normal stuff here from pretty Zerg. Normal stuff. Is this probe gonna block a hatch? I bet he is. He's talking like what he's going for. Hatch, you know. Um, Reindeer, block that hatch. Look at him. He's he's all oh. standing there menacingly. He's a blocking little bitch, this pro. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. He's my teammate. He's cool. It doesn't mean he's not a little bitch. It doesn't mean that probe specifically. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. And look at his Reindeer zappy little particle beam oh. whipping his particle beam around. Oh. And Cyan says, God damn it. You see that moment when the, the, the drone sort of jolts to life? Like, you son of a... Uh oh, is he going to actually get a kill here? Oh, yeah, the probe with the kill. Wow. Oh, probe with the kill. Oh, and, and then the, the pile on block. Oh. oh, man. So, you know, Cyan sticking it out. A weaker Zerg would just type K and leave the game here. But, um, yeah. you know, Cyan's going to be uh, in it for the long haul because he did go pull first, so Zerglings can come out now. The first pair is out. Second pair is popping. Um, well, this is a league match. You don't just quit league I matches. mean, yeah, in a league match, this would not... This is never, in no circumstances, this... GG, you need to play this out for sure. So he kills out that pile on there. Actually, Reindeer cancels, and he now cancel. Cyan makes the hatch. So tell me a little bit more about PVZ. You've had a chance to see both sides of things. We've talked about it on stream before, but what are you kind of thinking is going to come up in this match? What are you expecting to kind of see Zerg, Protoss, match point? You know what I mean? I know what you mean, and I don't know what to expect. Uh, I know what I do is basically either a Hydra Bust or a Super Turtley kind of five hatch Hydra yeah. style. Do you think um, the natural layout here is vulnerable to a Hydra Bust the way that match point is with this no, it's just this choke to the natural? The fact, yeah, the fact that you can go around like uh, on uh, in these positions, you'd have to go like south and then up. Um, it could be. The, the fact that that forge is where it is, I think that could be susceptible to some mm -hmm. hydras. And yeah. the fact uh, Cyan is actually scouting this all right now and knows exactly what the wall looks like, right. knows exactly what's where. Right. Um, I, ooh. It could be. He's getting a lair though. So he, at least because he had this probe yeah. in his face, he didn't want to like play, show his cards. Not to say that you can't switch and switch gears and do a hydra bus now, but it relies on that information game and denying the Protoss that information that that's what you're going to do because as we saw in the Dirk versus Sunfried the response is a fuckload of cannons and yep. then that shuts down a push really it's so tough after in that, general yeah. when you have so much DPS coming out of your cannons here and actually Cyan trying to defend Reindeer from getting that scout on his third base at the top but Reindeer got the scout so he you knows he's the got the three base not going to be a huge deal for now, but that plus one zealot attack, if it goes north, is going to be kind of kind of sad, kind of a bummer. This is maybe the moment where that pesky probe gets back in. Oh, he's got kind of blocked on the minerals. Oh. Mm. Nice. Cyan takes it out here, which protects his I mean, tech nice. of Spire first. Yeah, not... Yeah, I got to... 
Get That's that so nice there. for our, I know, for our boy reindeer. But he's going spire first, so. Spire first. I. This is, yeah, this is usually how I start out a kind of five hatch hydra build. At Personal. least get the spire, get some scourge out there to defend against corsairs. Yep. Actually, Stargate's about to finish. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Zergs, and, and it looks like Cyan had maybe use that overlord that was just sort of hanging out from earlier to get a glimpse at the tech and the timings of reindeer so cyan yeah I like the active overlord there yeah active with the ov so shout outs to him good stuff this probe with two health five like oh there it goes. oh it finally went down okay dang Good job with reindeer with the probe micro as well something that can just drive me insane as a zerg when probes are just <laughs> evading me and just Oh, it makes Wandering me, around the map, seeing everything. Makes yeah, me tilt so. so hard. It makes me feel like, how is this guy even a legit player? You know, how does he? Yeah. Well, but so no, I, there's not one legit player out there. But I'm not one of those people. <laughs> well, you're not one of the, you're among them. You're not a legit player. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm in the. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> so. Interesting that the Corsair is going straight across and not taking out that Overlord at home. You know, some t I've actually heard a little bit about some PBZ philosophy here that it's more important to get a complete scout of the Zerg and okay. see things like what's going on behind it because that slow OV, you can always kill that later or your second Corsair can come out and do the same that thing. Yeah. That you need to hedge the information battle directly the other way, but you also need to babysit it so you don't lose it to Scourge! Oh. <sighs> That's tough for... The Zealot Parade going up to the top left. Yeah, that's tough for a reindeer, man. You got to make sure that you don't, uh, that your Corsair fleet or flock continues to multiply. But that's a good amount Ooh. of uh, zealot parading. I think Scourge picked off another Corsair, too. Oh, really? I believe so. But yeah, the zealot parade is going to be scary here. Yeah, he's really wedged in there already. Could waltz his way in without having to worry too much about Zergling countering. Oh. Gotta, Good drone, micro, stopping, trying to, micro. Oh, trying wow. to disrupt the zealots from getting the surface area on the sunk there, but they take out the sunk wow. and he continues to attack. Just four zealots, man. Four zealots did all I mean, that. I expected them to do a lot more. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah, I felt like uh, they kind of glitched out a little bit. He know. did. Okay, he did good glitching, but at, at in terms of the 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 end resolution of the sort of the story here and, and even a kill on a hydra oh, yeah. five kills the on that one zealot on the four four zealots or whatever yeah no, but you're right like well. tried to point out a little bit the way that he was stacking his drones and hitting s mm -hmm. to stop them and bump those zealots off of the sunk surface area pretty good moves good moves from cyan reindeer oh, are now man. babysitting his corsairs near the cannons another sort yeah. of they almost like blend into the yeah, uh, Nexus there. It's kind of like Camouflage. when I try to blend my Overlord into uh, Oh hatchery. yeah, in a ZVZ where you're like you've yeah. just been sitting there the whole time and just you hope that you forget or the guy's not on the green <laughs> exactly. and red colors, dude. No, I'm on green and red colors. I see it. Dude. I see it every time. <laughs> not every time. I feel like I've hidden it from you once or twice. You actually, you have. Well, now it's in our personal <laughs> meta. Now, now That's I have, right. keep, yeah, I keep another, an eye on another that. chapter in the meta. Another chapter in the Eric vs. Sam personal meta. Guys, we got meta going back a while. Like I said, you know, at that LAN party, we were the only StarCraft <laughs> nerds in a room full of League of Legends nerds, so. Was it League back then? League was really big. Also, TF2 or and TF2. CS. Yeah. yeah, TF2 is up there. Hmm. Yeah, Good amount now. Now, dude. He's switching into the Templar tech. Storm's about to finish, so this is this is another one of those little moments of fragility for the the Protoss. His plus one zealot timing has come and gone. Now he's kind of moving to the next steps, where that storm needs to help protect him from busts and things. And um, Zerg starts to ebb and flow a little bit more into an army count around this time. But zealots are good, especially zealots plus one good. zealots. Too. They're gonna they get Cyan's left. face here a little bit. Quick. They're very quick, those zealots. And if you look at stuff like Zerg's top left, the third, like there's like nothing there. You know, like yeah. it's so vulnerable to an attack right now. And yeah. Reindeer knows it. Look at him go. He knows it. He's on his way. 
I feel like zealots walk sort of like like Bigfoot or something like you know like the human guy that was Bigfoot that was like the <laughs> hoax that they, they saw Bigfoot yeah in Washington State like they look like they walk like the guy from that Bigfoot video but anyway big feet big swords coming in too killing big these drones sword. oh man science trying to stack his boys and get them away honestly Ooh, just block micro from reindeer okay. block micro could he block right here oh they're passing through with the mineral walk he tried he tried but now the Hydras are face to face with these Zealots here. That's actually, I think, beneficial to the Zealots, but Lings come in to sort of support. I yeah, don't know. this is enough for Zerg. Oh, Reindeer's gotta go home now. His shields are depleted a little bit. He's got, he's got backups coming in. I think with all this. Nice, actually. I like the yeah. structure with the backup. Oh, and the Hydras are going around. Yeah. Drones are going back up north, but no. Oh, oh come on. Oh, on, reindeer, reindeer see sees him. Yeah, oh, he no. totally sees him. He's going to send one up there and then smell blood and see what he can make happen at the natural at the front. Moving right in here. Ooh. This, yeah, this could be, be potent. He only has one sun cup, which is about to go down. And now he's pulling all his boys to fight. Here's Cyan fighting him, blocking him, trying to glitch him. Hydras pop out from the eggs. More Hydras are here. Zealots are the now popping and popping. Very good drone micro from Cyan. And then the Zealots get cleaned up. Yeah, the drones actually are, are saving the day here. Oh, oh, and Reindeer's DT just happened to walk up the ramp near a bunch of Obies and die right there. And ah. he's got a rally going right now or something. Okay. But his flock that he's managed to keep alive a bit is now heading in for that aerial superiority. Just... Oh, this is going to be so frustrating to watch. Just trying to see if he can hemorrhage. I'm rooting for your reindeer, but like, yeah. All these overlords are going down. Ah, bomber. That's the right kind of a flock, though. When you have a fleet yeah. that's about this size that just demands some more attention, demands mm -hmm. larva use from Zerg to be put into scourges and stuff, that's... that's oh, and he found the flock. Oh, oh, he finds the flock. Oh, look at the red for Cyan. Oh, oh it's going to get redder, 53 too. 53 to 45 to 37. Boom. Damn. Wow. That's a bummer. Yeah, Cyan's not making anything for a while. Ten just, overlords, dude. No, yeah, he's I saw, I saw his minerals just Ten, a thousand, down. thousand minerals spent on overlords right now. Reindeer, reindeer senses this. It. Yep. Yeah. Thinking, this is my time. Make a maneuver through the middle. Oh, flying the Corsairs over those Hydras, though. Yeah, so he he sees that there's definitely a, a western front over here that's going to prevent him from taking that as his third. So Reindeer gets established instead at the mineral third down there and could perhaps look to maybe clean this up by by de facto nature mm. of, well, that choke, though. It's gonna That's a good amount of Hydras. I think he's going to benefit more from the Hydra Concave than Goon Concave. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, but a storm but, uh, might come in here and really just change the game. Yeah, for sure. He's got to get that storm. Oh, back they're the clumping storm. now. There it is. There it is. Yes, nice. reindeer with a good storm. Oh, and a second one for good measure. Wow. Oh, and these, these uh, overlords, overlords are confused. Are definitely coming in to, to get a, an elevator or something. Yeah. Did he get dropped? I don't know. But now, actually, a lurker flank. I didn't quite catch this, but storms coming down to catch off these lurkers. Oh, he doesn't have observers yeah. yet. Where's, does he have a hubs? No, he's just storming them. He's using his wow, spidey senses, working. his stormy senses to storm where those it lurkers is, is are. And now hubs. Good shit by reindeer. Seriously, yeah, this was skin of your teeth over here. Yeah, well handled. Uh, this high templar is gonna go down, I think, but I think I overall, told. pretty good for reindeer who holds a good supply lead now. Yep, he does have drops. We got a drop in the middle here with Hydra and Lings. Okay, he's got it. He does have drop. Drop confirmed. Drop duty, Sam. Drop duty. Oh, but is it scouted? Oh, it's scouted. Oh, it's super scouted. And he's got to know now. And he's after... got Corsairs coming in, too. Right. He but... has to know after seeing the previous flock, which now he's getting bullied and zapped. Uh oh. Cyan just says, I'll unload. Ooh, and you're right, the, that middle ground Hydra area, this 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 often very prescient 
um, upper high ground of steel area here where the pathway connects everything. That's often the point of contention in a lot of matchups, defending and protecting that area here. Cyan's in an awkward spot, trying to make he the is. drops happen, and they got scouted. And yeah, it's just not. Oh, nice. Picking off a couple overlords here, reindeer. Yep. While tasking the Zerg with mm -hmm. some defense out front. That Archon had nine kills before it goes down. Goons with three kills each. They go down. But overall, very good stuff for Protoss, who is really well established back at home. Now doing a transfer to a fourth in the bottom right, uh, where he's going to soon cannon up and probably defend with some Reavers in the bottom right. So looking good for our boy. Oh, Very yeah. good, Big actually. Moving out <laughs> across the middle <gasps> here. Okay, Cyan loaded up again. He split up his Corsair, so three now to watch that drop. Four heading southward. Oh, he just drops him back just down again. Keeping that drop from, from going anywhere. Corsairs. Thwarting the, the drop at the same time. while pushing at the front. A good amount of Zealots coming in and Goons to back him up. About a control group of each here with Observer support. What are our upgrades looking like? Two Carapace versus plus three attack now for yeah, the toss. That Lurker's just gonna melt. Oh, yeah. And that drop won't find its way in, except that he's released a bunch of Hydras up there to kind of bully the Corsairs, try to make that happen, but it's going down at his natural. Zealots and Goons up in his yeah, shit right now. Just, yeah. Really I'm bad for Zerg. No Hive Tech to speak of, really. Nope, nope. not even Lair started, so. We don't have the benefit of maybe Ultras being in those eggs or a Defiler being in those eggs. We d we're not going to yeah, see nothing. that. Yeah, we got some, some Lurkers popping. No, we also have an, uh, a couple of servers, actually. Yeah. And they all melt. So that's that's like, that's like shit for Zerg, right? Like that. Right. Well, he's on one base, two bases. That very quickly went way out of control for Cyan. I think it was all about those drops. Yeah. Oh, and he never gets them in. He can't. Oh, he's trying to drop them as he's getting yeah, as his overlords are exploding oh, into man. bloody gore. Oh, and he types that's so G good. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Last one was seven health too. Like it was about to die. Wow. Yeah. We're back. Hey, Ross is back in the chat. Just have to catch the featured match on the VOD, lol. I'd recommend against it. <laughs> yeah, no need to do that. No learning happening there in the coach people, <laughs> whatever. So uh, that's in the game one, actually, with Reindeer. Taking it one to zero. So we'll give him the point there. And um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff so far. What did, what did you like from Zerg that game? What did you like from Protoss that game? I liked... Zerg's opening a lot. I liked the fact that he was going for the drop, uh, I, but I, I just loved the fact that Reindeer was on top of everything. So he, he knew the third was up. He was pressuring the third early. He was pressuring the third mid game. He was pressuring the natural late game. Mm -hmm. You know, he was making sure those Corsairs were out and about uh, killing off overlords when they needed to kill off overlords. And then he would push in with the, the unit. Like it was just, I, I felt like killed it. And I Definitely think like the win. some of those tactics that you just mentioned are born out of him babysitting his Corsair so that that count, the Corsair count gets up to that number that actually makes a difference in the air superiority instead of like trickling, losing one, losing another, et cetera, et cetera. Because he yeah, had that fleet. He got those six or seven, like yeah. it was just scary. That's often how, you know, what I, I, the advice to Protoss is out there, you should babysit your Corsairs, don't lose any of them. It's, as best as you can, and then park them near cannons in your main or net if you ever need to hold them back from scourge attacks or something trying to take out your corsairs. So, yeah. Are we good to go, man? My Sennheisers. Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, your, Sennheis are... your headphones? HD 555s. They're old as fuck. Nice. They were old as fuck when I bought them like eight years ago. I think I saw you wearing those at the Sparty Land Party where we first met. Yeah, dude. Uh, maybe I had. I might. Maybe you had them. I might have had them then. I can't remember what rig I was rocking. You I don't think the I laptop, had the desktop. Man. Remember yeah, the laptop? I, I had the Toshiba laptop. Like oh, a yeah. shitty Black Friday laptop that I was rolling with for, for SE2. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, 
at diamond level, that's all you need. Uh, Zerg in SC2 is easy. You just make units and A move. You can select them all <laughs> at one time. You fucking select all your larva from all your hatches at once. Like, it's ludicrousness. I don't know. I remember when I got the desktop. Like, it was, it was night and day. Oh, overlay. Overlay. Here we go. Overlay. Overlay. Wow. What would yeah. I do without my faithful stream viewers? You know? I mean, yeah, you just broadcast our faces. I will, it would just it. be and the chest zookeeper can show. See. Yeah. <laughs> which would be fun. Yeah, we oh, should just do a chest yeah. zookeeper show. Or like a Brood War yeah, podcast like or something. Podcast? Yeah. I don't know what we talk about. A brood War, man. It would be great. Yeah. Talk about... <laughs> oh, man. I was going to make more jokes about yeah. it. Our... Series, but I can't. I can't. <laughs> that feel when you want to meme, but um. But it feels rude. Yeah. <laughs> would it be more entertaining than the last ZVZ match that you missed? Uh, about equal. Yeah, I would say about equal. A level of entertaining. Oh. Yeah. It would be certainly less depressing, I would say. Right. Okay, pool again. From the zoo. Reindeer oh. blocking again. Hmm. Who first is the shit? Forge. Forge going down. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's a good forge. It's a good forge. You know, good position. Good I like it. Forge. Yeah, look at it. It's got that, that orb. It's, it's like the blue oh. spikiness. Dude, is this where we go to the, the, the space parts of Circuit Breaker and trip out? Uh, things in space? <laughs> Whoa, man! Yeah, like, when dude, you zoom oh, in and oh, it moves, dude. How it, dude. Yeah, the parallax. Everything you've like, ever known, your job, your coworkers are—is that pale blue dot right there? You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Cyan with the scout. Oh. Oh, the scout. So he's gonna see it. We know he likes to use his overlords pretty actively too. Yeah, that could be a, a, a nice scout. Uh, again, another benefit of knowing the maps and moving your overlords in the right directions for the map um, positions. And that uh, is going to afford him a lot of good information here. Sees when the Nexus goes down. Pretty Just a sure. side note. Was, yeah. was Reindeer's win our first no one care that win of the evening? Yes, that's right. We've been 2 0 in every other series. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you, Reindeer. Yeah, Reindeer. Pull it through here. Keeping us off the. Uh, <laughs> Off the shutout shut sweep, out? yeah, yeah. That'd be, dude. I bet we're gonna get to the playoffs and to get totally shut out and just be really and sad. Last week's no one care that B team went well, two zero. Well, that's all of our true. We had the reverse sweep the other way, yeah. and that was, dude, that was, that was great. Good shit. Yeah, I mean, we were we were two of those two O's. Yeah, you know, we talk a lot of shit, but we'll back it up, dude. I'll play any B teamer anytime. Man. I will not. I'll play him when I can. <laughs> well, I mean, like, no, I'm just saying generally, like, you know, come at me. I'll, I'll, you know, I'm not going to dodge. No dodges here. No, I don't dodge. I don't dodge either. I'll make it oh. work. Oh. Oh. Is it going to get scouted? Oh, it's going to get scouted. Nice job, reindeer. Nice. Checking out that third location. Ooh, you greedy little hatch. Greedy little hatch. This is like a... Needs... This this probe and the circling. It's just like <laughs> such a lonely tango. It's now all the way to the other extremity, oh. and now the probe gets away this way. And now there's two, two lanes involved. Yep, reindeer doing the calculated moving boys to his wall to help insulate, and then... Once his first zealot's about to pop, he moves two boys away, and soon enough he won't need those other two boys. He can send them back. So, um, calculated, uh, calculated wall Sim City sort of like uh, timings, uh, intimate knowledge of the timings here from our Protoss uh, teammate makes me proud. You know. Yeah, he's he's playing well. And is he gonna get oh, back yeah, into the main? Game. Oh, the sunk, just finished, took him out. He lived a good life, though. He scouted a third out. That's super important to see. We're going to have the same thing as last game here from Cyan, though. I'm waiting to see if Aspire goes down, if he goes Hydra down. 
Now said ab is. about that time that he throws down his tech. Something's gotta go there. It is. At the net. Yep. So down the same channels, and that's pr actually a pretty good timing to be throwing it down. You would think now he'll drone up a little bit more, and then make a couple extra hatches, and then transition into the hydro production that's gonna hopefully save him and hold him in about two minutes from now. Um, but we shall see. He's already made a few sunks in extra spots uh, in advance of that happening. So sometimes you, you're sometimes when I solicit advice from other better zergs, I'll just say, "You did? Why'd you make those sunks? You didn't need to make extra sunks. Like you weren't in danger yet. Um, you need that income from those drones mining until the ultimate or the penultimate moment that you then build a sunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so perhaps. Uh, you know, perhaps in terms of the economical edge, they're still about equal considering the saturation going on here. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna see some shit here in about a minute and a half or so. Once these uh, also, I, I don't know. I well, feel like he doesn't actually have a lot of gateways. Where are we at? Oh, we got. So he has his second down. gateway going up just just now. Mm -hmm. So and the plus one's a little bit behind. Hmm. Oh, and the I think we're actually coming in to help with the, the Corsair. Nice. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, Spore Range is ridiculous. I mean, it's just an early Spore. Ridiculoso, yeah. Spore at the third, too. Mm hmm. Let's go shut down DTs as well. No, no sneaky DT thing going on. Definitely a five hatch. Hydra kind of kind of play here. Yep, another hatch. That, another that hatch there. To go down soon. I like to make it at my net so I have three camera positions that, like you know, divided production have some another second hatch here, another second hatch over at the third. This just lets you not have a discrepancy in the source of your unit rallying and too many units on one side of the map versus the other when you need them to defend against that zealot push. So. Um, I like to make my other hatch at the natural here. I think he's about to do that. I do right the same. There. It also helps the wall a lot because it's you know big and has a lot of HP. Right. Oh, as you can sort of see, good walling structure going on here. Mm -hmm. This sort of layout here is going to make it tough because zealots have to wrap all the way around and then come back up, and the boys can sort of assist in terms of blocking off that pathway of maneuvering. So we're going to see. That plus one's about to finish, as is the Zealot Legs, so this is Reindeer's moment. This is Reindeer's time. Yeah, here comes the first is parade Is he going to make day. it happen? Scheduled parade, 8 o'clock. That's right. Stay off the roads, yeah, guys. Curfew, it's going to be blocked curfew off. Curfew for overlords. Curfew for everybody. Got to gotta come home. Martial law is in effect because these Zealots are coming in, but I love the SimCity. Yeah, the SimCity is going to actually kill it. Look See that zealot couldn't squeeze zealots. through. Uh, this is so good. I I have to commit to building like this in my games. I just have to. Yeah. This is so. This is impeccable structure. Unless unless Seriosity's in the chat, so like he should have. No, the hatchery's got to move one square to the left or something. Um, and I would just say, well, thank you, Seriosity. Oh. Because <laughs> he seems Seriosity to be. Seriosity would know, but I I think I think I sat down with Seriosity a while back and went over walls and. Pretty sure Hydra Den and a hatch is uh, flush on if the hatch is either left or right of the Hydra Den. So okay, we've got one hex on each side, left and right, right. Where they overlap. So I think that so is. So you're a flush saying wall. these are zealot-proof walls between that Hydra and the hatches, but on both sides. The Evo chamber is not though, um, so it'll only be proof I think on the left. So you can see the hydras are kind of walking oh, through that, I see. that area yeah, on the right. I see. It only goes one direction. I think it's left. Okay. So hatch left of an Evo chamber chamber is flush. Hatch on the right of an Evo chamber is Evo chamber is not. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I did a great job of illustrating that, considering that I'm observing and you're describing. But I think I grabbed <laughs> well, it anyway. And I'm glad. The zealot attacks now going down at the third location. More hydras are popping out of those eggs. Ooh, oh, range is researching. I don't know. I might be talking about that. I'm pretty sure. You mean through at the natural? Or at the third? Uh, at the third, I saw Hydras go through the wall there. Mm. Maybe maybe it's not quite a hex 
the left. I don't know. Or there's a similar like exception, the left side versus the right side going on here. Yeah. We might see like that, that in I action forget. here. Fourth base going down for Cyan, so right on time, sort of. He's got now the established um, front here, and a lot of Hydra's been made so far. Bunch of Ovi's coming out, so good macro from both players, actually. Reindeer a little bit ahead right now, but scaling up as appropriate, adding on three more gateways, and the Robo Facility, and more pylons. His Corsair fleet has contained, contained the Zerg a little bit, been not as... Uh, not as maybe uh, impactful as we saw them be in the first game where they be bullied and babysitted against a drop defense here, but we shall see. That's why they're still alive. You know, they, they have <laughs> opportunities to scout and move around. Yeah, I think largely because of the scourge, or not the scourge, the spores. Um, we're just kind of killing it. Right, you're right. That spore Keeping deterrence. The from doing too much, yeah. A lot of scourge now. I do want to see Reindeer take this third base here. Ah, Rogi's in the chat. Hydras Hydra are smaller than Zealots. Gotcha. So Zealots doesn't fit through that hatch cool. den hat, but Hydra does fit. So I'm still right. Oh, cool. Yes. More yeah. idiosyncrasies to the stupid fucking game that we play that don't make <laughs> fucking sense. All right, great. Uh, DT swiping. Yep, DT swiping. But you know who didn't get that notification? is Super Saiyan. Yeah, he has no another <laughs> idiosyncrasy to this bullshit game that we play. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he has no idea what happened. He just is going to look up there and like, Bling there, I don't know. Was there I thought something? I, I thought one. I had a, well, maybe, maybe I just suck. Right, yeah, right. And, yeah. <laughs> Could have swore that I, and then it's just gone. Yep. The worst of this is, of course, returning to your natural or your main and saying, what the hell? I had drones oh, here. I have no and drones. There's no yeah. drones there I'm anymore. I'm certain I had drones there for the last Great. 15 minutes of the game. Great. Thanks, DTs. <laughs> Thanks, DTs. Oh, Queen, dude. This is interesting. Ooh, He's hitting Queen and Ensnare. Maybe Ensnare, yeah. So Ensnare is actually very good against clumps and clusters of units. As you can sort of see, I, I noted this just a second ago in my mind that Reindeer's got such a cluster of zealots that even a, a sick and snare could just totally change the game and effectively nullify the zealot legs upgrade yeah especially with a bunch of hydras behind it too that could that could be really good or sort of on like the corsairs a, too so Another... in snare uh, with yeah corsairs as well most actually we saw a lot of that on sparkle in the asl mm -hmm. using queens to ensnare air armies as well yeah but you could do it on ground armies just as fine, and I, 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 I'm curious to see. We're gonna get some new meta here in the uh -oh. CPL. Uh oh. Uh oh. Drop duty. Drop duty. Drop duty. We got a shuttle up at the natural of reindeer with a couple uh, looks like Templars. Ooh, I like it. I like it. But there's so much drop defense, like ready to go though. Do you see these? Um, I feel like a drop in the main could do some stuff if you go kind of around, but yeah, he's got he's got a nice he's little. He's got to be fleet. really careful. Patrolling scourge would totally ruin his day, but you're right. Mm. He's got a, he's got a window that he could kind of scoot around. Cyan sensing a little bit where his uh, maybe his vision or his sort of posture is a little bit weak, so he moves these hydras to the six and some ovies with them. The zealot's still trying to make something happen. Getting all up in that bridge over there. All up in that bridge. The double bridge, I should say, as they kind of cluster, like, oh, no, no, never mind. No, fuck that shit, fuck that shit. As, oh, the, the, the first sell, it's like, oh, let's not say we did. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah, he pairs the drop oh, with and snare. the Corsair. And snare, and snare on, the Corsair on the Corsairs over there, but the drop gets out. He's dropping DT's drop to High Templar. He's got a storm with the Templar. He gets a storm yeah, off another storm. Down. Decent storms, but yeah, I don't know if it was worth it. That was a lot to throw. That was a lot of gas. Decent mm. storms. I mean, ah, it's almost like if he had made the issue of something a little bit more over at the third and then had that happen. Look at how many lurkers I'm making. Lurkers and oh hydras at oh the third. Lurker, 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 like oh, at least a lurkers. dozen. Yeah. Damn, so Did many lurkers over here. Own... Killed his own spore to get his guys out. Oh, He's got an ultra yeah. in the back that yeah, can't get out. Oh my oh. god. There's all the lurkers, but he's got a bunch of storms. He could hit some of storms insane could storms. Ruin this. Oh, perfect storming. Great storming so far. 
But the lurkers are moving forward. He's got to get his, the rest of his boys in position. He's observers. Oh, he's got three observers in the middle of the map. Just trying to catch up. Oh, like, wait going. up, guys. Wait up. Storm in the best that he can. A lot of front lines still, but he's got to be careful because that cl cluster of lurkers with the spine is going to have enough DPS to take out that oh. zealots in lines and waves. Finally, the obs arrive. But a Hydra flank at the same time. Bunch of Ovis come out. I'm not sure if they're trying to obscure. Zealots are cleaning up the Hydras pretty well, but now we get sort of flanked from the back, running out of energy. He's got energy for one more storm. Throws it down and then Morrison Archon. But I think that Cyan is gonna maybe lose his army, but still be able to hold his, his structured position here with more lurkers. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna kill Cyan, but it's, I mean, it's definitely scary. But at the same time, without an army now, right? Kind of gonna be on the back foot for a bit. We see the supplies oh, just, even right now. Just and, a little things yeah. like props to Cyan for being very diligent, but like had that drop been able to succeed and do damage simultaneously with this third attack, I'd be thinking that Reindeer did a good job with his mid-game aggression. But it was thwarted on both ends. Now we have the toss player a bit on the back foot. And the macro not slipping actually for Cyan, who keeps his money low. Mm-hmm. Reindeer's got a micro a little bit here. There's the storm going down. Oh, oh, add in your extra guys. Add the goons. Help your goons. Oh, no. Oh, and ensnares. More casual ensnares yeah. going down. New meta here. It's like a manor ensnare there. Hey, shout out. What up, A team? We got new meta here using queens. Look at this. Yeah, seriously. B team meta. We've seen a lot of queens in this, this set of series. Oh, but that queen is going down. That queen just decided to <laughs> say uh, bid adieu to the monarchy as she kills herself. But Hydra's taking out cannons. Down the guillotine there. Yeah, this that was actually the revolution they threw in the guillotine for not ensnaring enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Oh, and the first reaver comes out, oh, and Cyan and snipes the first down. reaver, which sucks so bad for Toss here. He's got to find a way to defend this, but now he's just flanked. Now flanked by another group of, of Hydras yeah. with that mixture, Ling, Ultra, Hydra, yeah, just taking shit so out. Sure. Corsairs aren't doing anything because there's no air here, so they're like, okay. And more more Ling, Hydra, Ultra coming in. And we and, got one uh, cannon here to, to stand up. Looking rough for our he's boy. He's on two base, but he's getting mined out a little bit. Damn. Aw, oh, getting the shuttle as it pops out of the, the robo facility. Shit, couldn't make it happen. And, um, you know, maybe this is a little bit symptomatic of not taking the mineral third as toss and going for that top base. Lended itself open to attack from multiple areas, and reindeer calls the GG. Yeah, possibly. <sighs> I kind of like the mineral third expansion pattern for toss. It seems for easy toss, to defend. Especially. Yeah. All right. Well, viva la, la revolucion, Zerg. That's right. Took out reindeer. Now it's a one-one. Dang. Madness. Mm. Craziness, Sam. Craziness. Weren't you? You made a tale of two cities reference earlier, too, didn't you? I forgot. Was it? I feel like you did. I Maybe don't know. Not. The the the. <laughs> The honest truth is that I have so many literary illusions in my daily life <laughs> that it's crazy. People hate me for it. Like, Cheryl is very tired of me always comparing things, you know, and how, uh, and yeah, Shakespeare, you know, and... <laughs> Shakespeare's a big one, yeah. We've had a few uh, We've been on some other shit. Shakespeare before, yeah. too. <laughs> you could say we got to see... Uh, Insomniac Act 5, the, the, the final was week that of... The Act I think yeah. that was Act 5. He flames That's, out. Uh, yeah. He flames, flames out, out at the end. It was a tragedy, not a comedy. It was, it, it was, it was a tragedy. It was, it was, it was well some, known. Sometimes it was a tragic comedy, but mostly it was a tragedy. So anyway, <laughs> this is what I mean. Um, shit, we got one more game tonight. It's game three of our final series. We're heading to Aztec for the first time tonight. Um... Given that we've had two O's the rest of the evening thus far, so again, Reindeer preventing us from the clean sweep. But we're heading to game three for Aztec, man. Um, First game on Aztec tonight. Yeah, any thoughts on Aztec, ZVP? I like... Those are my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, you got the double ramp that leads up uh, into your, your main natu your natural third area. 
um, which can be tough to kind of play defensively as Zerg. Yeah. Uh, you're kind of stretched thin as soon as you get that third base, regardless of where you go for that. But yeah. at the same time, Protoss is in largely the same boat, so Ling yeah. buys drops, all that kind of stuff can be good. There's also that little uh, the shelf ledge. Yeah, yeah. The little, little ledge, ledge into the near the naturals. Much, uh, Let me switch my overlay that. real quick. We just mean this drop ability, like uh, right there. There's a little ledge you can drop onto, and there each natural has a spot that has a droppable ground surface that you can put units onto, which is especially effective for things with range like tanks and high templars with storm and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see what comes to happen here. Yeah, we will. You know. Yeah. And just in time for me to go to bed. <laughs> just in time, man. It's, hey, it's only 8.27 here. Yeah, well, it's so uh, 10.27 here. And I was six. So. Oh, jeez. Damn. Yeah. So, how, dude, how is your commute going? I mean, you're, you said you're on the blue line. Oh, dude, I got the commute down to a science. It's down to a science for real oh, already? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it figured out, man. Wow. Well, what, you ride the train? I ride the train. But there's, okay. I mean, but you know, there there's... other parts? Or, yeah. Like any you commute, walk? there's always, like, a bunch of new... Uh, uh, yeah. Like, you know, even if you're do driving... Do you snooze or... your alarm two times, and does that make you catch this train? Or if you snooze exactly. it alarm one time? Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and, like, I've found, like, a lot of people leave their place at, like, 8 a.m. to get to the train. So if I can yeah. leave at, like, 7.45, I miss a big rush Just by hour. a big little yeah. chunk of people. Yeah. Yeah, like, a 15-minute difference is, like, That's all cool. the world you know my so. my own personal wake up time cutoff is like seven okay anything before seven i really feel like fuck i'm tired i don't want to get up but after seven so, I, I, yeah, can, I can, get out, I can get out of the house by eight if you ever ask me and i won't complain about it getting out of the yeah. house by seven sometimes feels a little bit early you know it's no that's yeah that's i had much. to do that as a teacher for quite a while as a teacher my alarm would always go off around 5 30 actually which you can imagine sometimes going to bed late and setting alarms for 5.30 all the time and like, yeah, oh my god, fun. it's exhausting. Well, it's like, you know, you want to want to live your life. I'm in a new spot. I want to go do stuff and everything. So I've Dude, you want to sit like, in your room and cast CPL, you know? Cast um, CPL, you know. I went out to see I saw The Incredibles last night. That was a good you should all see The Incredibles if you haven't seen The Incredibles. Oh, was it fun? Was it a good movie? It was. It was a really good movie. Yeah, I really. That's liked cool. It. Yeah, I really liked Incredibles one. Max yeah. says well, five five thirty. What the fuck? Yeah, man. Because yeah. our first buses of kids arrived around six forty. The oh. first bell is at seven fifteen. No. We serve breakfast and shit that requires supervision, of course. I literally can't, like, make copies and just have my people chill. Like, there's fights and drama, high school shit. So, dude, being a teacher, just, like, you just... You can never just do what you want to do. You know, either the students make it shitty or people make it shitty. Parents make it shitty. Shout out to You're all like the teachers. You're like half a babysitter, yeah. Yeah, shout out to all the teachers out there, man. Yeah, they go through a bunch of shit. I know because I put them through a bunch of shit when I was in yeah, school. Yeah, actually, like... Sam, this is like a deep narrative to you and I in a relationship. You've admitted that you were a troublemaker, and yet you were uh, yeah. in the, yet you were a tag kid. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> Which right. almost makes it worse. I'll yeah. fill in the audience. Sam was in the oh, talented God. and gifted shit. Oh. Like a whole different level of school shit, but busting. Oh my God, a Ling run by. Oh a my Ling God. run by. Look at this. Oh, oh that's so many Actually, Lings. Oh, and there's. That, oh my God. The probe's trying to do their best to protect the cannon. Now the cannons have got to get cannon. up. I think they're going to win. I think they got out. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Dude, the way those. And probes... they're going to get this OV too. Oh. Huge win for Reindeer off of the bat. Cyan's leaned so heavily into these links here, dude. Oh my god. This is crazy. Like... Is he still going links? Yeah, he's still going links. He's got eight more on the way. Wow, so he's gonna lean into this Ling rush. This... Most Protosses, some of them would be foaming at the mouth right now, considering they've got the two cannons up, and they just need to sort of protect themselves now. Um, but run by could still be scary, though. You're right. Like, is Reindeer assuming that this is over because more Lings are on the way? I don't think Reindeer has any idea. He, he's so good at usually putting his probes out front to block stuff. He doesn't have probes out front. He needs to bring more probes. He's got to react to this. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, he's throwing away Lings, though. Yeah, that seemed like Cyan. Getting the feel for the wall there a little bit there. 
I don't know. Cyan's gonna try to make it happen on the transition out here, but and Cyan is so low in everything. He's going double hatchery as an like expansion and, and macro hatch. Dude, but, like, here's he where no drones. here's where tricky tech like Corsair DT can be super powerful because Zerg mm -hmm. didn't didn't have a chance to develop a lot of little pieces like spores and extra stuff that he would typically like. You could do Reaver. We've talked about how Aztec, this main is very droppable. You could get a fast yep. shuttle and just even fucking a zealot drop would be really good here. So Reindeer's got some options now knowing that he held and had to deduce what Cyan was up to from the hole. You know what I mean? He must be behind. Yeah. And just so many more workers. Like he's got a full 12. What is Reindeer, or what is Cyan at? Yeah, like 10. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel yeah, like not as much. Reindeer's ahead. Good stuff. Oh man, I'm pulling for our boy. Has he won in the CPL? I feel like we always we're always watching Reindeer tragically fall one two. He plays a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm ho I'm pulling for him, man. However much it disgusts me, I will root for a Protoss. He is. He won against Prodigy in week six. Oh, that's right. We saw a reindeer versus yeah, prodigy. Was, that was it. Okay. That is his only win so far. We're gonna see if he can pull it off uh, here, though. He's our B team hope this week. Everybody else got got bopped pretty good here. A couple zealots going for the cleanup duty. It's like yeah, these are really I feel like, like this is so security guards, the loitering kids. Get out of here! It, it, go, it gets, <laughs> go home. Get. It. Little bastards. With, like they're nightsticks or yeah, something. Yeah, like rascals. Like, like beating them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. All right, switching over to Hydras, it looks like. Maybe just going for a Hydra bus, you know? If the Ling bus doesn't work, go for a Hydra bus, right? Right. Actually, good call. I didn't quite see that. He's got the Hydra den going down with Hydras making and speeds coming for Hydras, too. So this is, like, all in part two, right? But right. Reindeer's gonna get a glimpse again. of Hydras now. Some yeah, spinning look at all going those on. Yeah, Reindeer knows now. I wanna see those cannons go down. Totally Show me those knows cannons, now. Reindeer. Show us the cannons. Show me the cannons. Reindeer. Please, oh, please me. show me. Yeah. Please show me the cannons. Come on. Dude, the way his gateway's out, he can totally pick off the gateway if he had like an arc of hydras. Oh, definitely. And even the forge too. I, I, I wonder, you know, like the way that hydras could approach here. What's really in yeah. danger? Ooh, man. And Cyan's leaning into it really hard right now. Five, seven more hydras en route from the base. Oh my god. Four yeah, at the front man. with zerglings. Oh, he's got range going. I think he's got speed already. He's got speed now. Good You're right. Point. The Hydra range is making. The Corsair's going to see it. And this Corsair Reindeer scouts Corsair it. scouts it. Oh, he knows it's there's such groups. Oh, my gosh. Show me cannons. Show me cannons. You got the money. There he goes. There, there he goes. goes. He knows he has to respond real quick. But on the flip side, Cyan is thinking, I've been scouted. I've been found out. I have to do this quick. I have to get up in there. Two more cannons. Oh, I don't love the wall structure right now for Reindeer. But uh, still possible to the overcome zealots, it. Though. He's got four zealots. The zealots are kind of bugged out by their own Sin oh, City. The cannons go down. Hydras are shooting over the forge in the oh, gateway. And the, boys. the zealots aren't getting oh. there. And cannons are getting canceled and remade a little bit further back. But the gateway's falling. Oh, and the no. forge, I think, is going to go down too. A lot of hydras out front. This is disaster. Oh, no. This is disaster. That's. This is disaster. There's no the way. Cannons. It begins a little bit oh. earlier. GG reindeer. Damn. Wow. GG Damn. for reindeer. Damn. That hurts my heart. Um. Yeah, we got wrecked this week. Oh, wow. We. We didn't win a game. I mean, we won a game, but like, in a series. We didn't win a series this week. Team, no one care that. Scooting into the. Uh, playoffs you know on a not not the highest of notes week nine was a high note week 10 a little bit up week and down the variance there so no 